first part of this lecture will focus is what is an restora aesthetic restoration in implant dentistry and how can we influence these aesthetics? Which restorative options do we have today? Which are the established materials and what is their longevity and their limitations? Finally, which new options are being offered? What do we know about these new materials? And I'd like to come up with some current clinical conclusions, current because of the fact that specifically this chapter here is changing day by day. So what is an aesthetic restoration in implant dentistry and how can we influence the aesthetics? Well, we've seen a number of cases that Will has shown us already, compromised cases, and if we look at these situations here, I, I'm sure that you would agree that those cases are maybe not bad, but they suffer from aesthetic problems. Maybe also problems that started already in the, in the beginning, in the first treatment phase, when the patient was analyzed and the site had to be tested or uh, discussed with the patient in order to see whether we can deliver a predictable outcome. Malpositioning of the implant, recession of soft tissues, and recession of soft tissues, even in a pronounced way, can cause aesthetic problems. But also, cases like these, where out of a prosthetic point of view, everything looks fine, but the soft tissues have this kind of grayish shading, may be an aesthetic problem in patients which have high aesthetic expectations and do want to have a perfect outcome. So materials do play a role, but not only materials do play a role. It's also the planning. It's the entire treatment that starts with the first treatment phase, nicely highlighted in the first lecture of this session.